an EWS video as promised, right? So let's talk EWS3, right? So say you're in a country where, I don't know, people didn't ken how to take a mobilizer off, easy use, something like that, or you just want to wire up EWS so you've got the security and nobody's stealing your car. So as long as this key chip matches the box and the ECU, these three things match, then you will get to start the car, no problem, right? So I'll just give you a walk through what we're going to do here. So to wire this up to be standalone, say you, you watched my last video and right, you know, wired up an M57 or an M54, M52 TU, anything like that that runs EWS3 like this, and you have a full car, so you're going to take the ECU, the antenna for around the barrel, you have the matching chip inside the key, which communicates with this. When they two things match, that says the ECU, you're all right to fire up sort of thing. So I'm going to show you how to wire this up standalone to the side of your engine, so you can run it and have a low wire and you can either take your key into there or you can utilize and use the key so you can start the car with the key whatever you like uh, so it has a mobilizer or like if you're in one of the countries where there isn't many people doing matam you're in a remote place where you kind of get nothing stuff like that whatever right so let's go and walk through this quickly so uh, straight away what you're doing is cutting taking that out of the car the donor car take these wires out of the donor car Take this off and then we're going to, I'm going to show you what, what you need to do with these wires. We're going to deep in the junk and whatever. So I'm going to take you closer to the job. <clears throat> I'll take you closer and we will. So straight away, all these wires are not going to be used in here, right? So same as the last DCU plug, if you lift that tab, you get to slide this plug off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Push that tab and pull him out. There we go. Right. So we're going to lose the stuff that we're no needing. And to do that, you see, there's a tab in there and a tab in there. These were for starter. Right. So we've got to take them away because you're going to have your starter on your rain switch. You're not going to use it this way. So we'll just get rid of these pins straight away. Right, just to thin out, you know, wire and tails hanging about, kind of like cut wires and stuff. So let's just take them out and throw them away. Right, there's two away. Uh, I think we only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these wires. One, two. Right, so we've lost the two fat starter wires straight away. So the next thing we've got to do is come to this very end one and it's White, it's an OBD wire, it's like white with a red stripe with yellow dots on it, right? So we're going to lose that. So again, we tab in there, push that down. You probably have to push it down again in there, and we'll get rid of that. Right, there's that one done. So for there, you've got two browns in here, right? This was from an auto, right? So one brown's for, to, one brown's for park and neutral switch, and one is for... Uh, one's for parking neutral and one's an air for the actual EWS to have its own power source kind of thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to twist these together, right? And these can straight away just get earthed. If you're using a manual car, you might find that you've only got one brown, but that's fine, that's cool. Just because this was from an auto, so it's kind of doing the same thing. So two brown straight away twisted together, which is pins eight, seven, six. Pin six on one side and pin nine on the other. Six and nine go together, right? And then pin, what is that if that's eight? So, hold on. These pins are harder to read. So if that's nine, that's 13. So eight, seven, six. Five, four. Pin four is going to be the wire that talks to the ECU that you're using, i.e. M57 wire. Uh, it's going to be like pin... Two seconds, I'll tell you what pin it is, because I have that diagram here. I'm sure. <clears throat> so, you've got to be pin 33, electronic via vehicle immobiliser crosslink. So, this black with purple stripe is going to go to the ECU pin that says is for a mobiliser, right? 
On top of that, you've just got to colour match your antennas, right? So I'll just come up, I'll quickly join them up just so they make a bit more sense, right? There's the other antenna wire. So the antenna wires, are, the colours have got to be the same. So you've got to go black and yellow to black and yellow, and then black is like black with a white and grey stripe to black with a white and grey stripe. Right, so here we are. Let's move this out of the way. So antenna, right? Wired up. Colour match for there to there. The colours are the same. So there we have earth, antenna. And then for here, right, we've got... Also, that one's for the mobilizer itself, and all we're left to do is power it. So, see, pins at pin 10, where are with the pin? Pin 10, the one with the red and black. Pin 10 gets a straight live, and the purple with the yellow gets switched on with the key or whatever, switched live, and then these three can all communicate together. That's it. Simple as that. So once you're finished doing that, you just slide this plug back in. It has an arrow on it, so you can't slide it the wrong way. The arrow up into that. The plug will not go in if you offer it in the wrong way. So that's it. As easy as that for EWS3, so you go one earth, there is two earths if it's been an automatic car, right? You have a red for a constant live to the battery power, and you have a, a purple with a yellow stripe, which gets a switch live. The one for the code to tell the ECU, um, one, two, the, these three things match, let the car fire up, and your two antenna wires, it's picking up the signal from the key to communicate with that. It's as simple as that. Um, I think sometimes people kind of get their head around wires and stuff like that, but see, once you get your head around it, or see if somebody explains it nice to you, I'm not saying I'm the best person in the world to explain it, but I've been around guys who explain stuff nice, and I've kind of picked that up myself. Well, I'll try and pass it over to you guys as good as possible. So, like we say here, i just done a video on wiring this up, this uh, M54 here, running on the floor. Um, obviously I have a immobilizer deleted ECU, but for any guys who don't have immobilizer deleted ECUs or don't have access to stuff like that, you are not stuck. You can still do M57, M54 swaps, stuff like that, um, by following the likes of this. So, for here, what you could do with this, you could um, get that stuck into there, you could take the chip out of the key and just uh, tape it to that. And when you wire up your motor, just have all that taped together. I'll just take the chip out the key, tape all that together, and then everything's in one place. That's going to plug into there. You're going to earth it, live it, switch live it, and your other ECU plug is going to house this, and then that's all going to run for you, no problem. So that's like the easiest way I could say uh, to cover EWS3. It's fairly basic, although it's like a form of security, but a few. If you ever lose the key or the chip, you need to get a mobilizer deleted because there's no way around it. Absolutely no way around it. So I'm going to leave this video at this. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. What I will do, uh, the little diagram that I found online to get the pinouts for this. Obviously, I'm not that clever. I, I still need to check for pinouts myself. So I'm telling you guys the right stuff. But I have done this before. I wired up my, my very first M57 uh, like this before I actually started getting a mobilizer deleted ECUs and doing that stuff myself and that. But uh, like, like I said, for the guys that can't get this done or are, like want an immobilizer in the car so it's safe and won't get stolen, blah, 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 whatever, it's there. So uh, all of my videos, uh, if there's any pictures or anything like that, there'll be a link in the description of the video to my Google Drive, which has a picture in it with this diagram for you. and. Anybody with a link, anybody with a link can access the Google Drive and get it. So thanks very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.